Seattle baseball fans and welcome Triple A baseball on MLB the show. It's the Columbus Clippers taking on the Toledo Mudhands. First pitch coming your way next. Ladies and gentlemen, your Toledo Mudhands. Just about set to go now. And today's starting pitcher, Spencer Turnbull. What do we need to know here? He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. Okay, all set to go. Here's the center fielder, number 67. Why to kick the pitch? High fly ball out into left center field. And it's caught for the out. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. No score just getting started top of the first. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a one-two. Yeah, the one-two misses to even the count. One down, base is empty. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. Full count now. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Next pitch has popped up. Short. On the run. Throw to first. And he beats the throw very close right there. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw you know yeah no question man at first with one gone now here's nolan jones check on the runner and he dives back in safely base hit left center field they get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. And now it's Josh Naylor. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Two down. Now, Will Brennan. Two on, two outs. Right side, and that's just foul. Brooks at second. Jones on at first with two down. On the ground to third. They take the force out. That's out number three. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Bottom of the first. And towing the slab here, Alex Young. He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. Bottom of the first. And now here is Zach Short. And 
And now two and two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Pulls that one foul. The wind of the pitch. Chopped left side. And he grabs it. Foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And now it's going to be Cody Clemens. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. One, two now. Now a fly ball to right center. Number 67 on the move to his left. And that one hops the wall. Clement with a relay throw. And it's not in time. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling, and I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Jacob Robson now at the plate. Here comes a pitch. Strike two. And now two and two. pitch towards first Naylor handles the chance the flip to the pitcher covering pitcher gets to the bag for the out okay let's check out the lineup the challenge for him today Singy elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound yeah that's the challenge but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one Boog. you get a runner on first you anticipate trajectory down and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead you break for second so whether it's a stolen base or not you stay out of the double play get that runner in a scoring position and that can help you put more runs on the board bid ball in dirt Next pitch is downstairs. And he deals. That one out to right. Brooks moving back for this one. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. An inning in the books tonight. And we're scoreless here on the show. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, David Fry. And a count one and two. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The wind of the pitch. On and miss struck him out leadoff man retired here in the second way out in front of that inside pitch there and just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want with two strikes you want to let the ball travel make sure you recognize it try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play clearly fooled but I think even more so you question the two strike approach 
Ernie Clement will hit next. On the ground to third. And a couple of quick outs. You gotta be kidding me. Did you see that throw? Not really, Boog. I mean, it happened in the blink of an eye, it seemed, but thankfully StatCast is here to help us out. I mean, you don't see many throws across the infield that get up into the 90s, so he really reached back for that one, and he had to to get the out. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. The 1-1. One -one. That one missed. Second inning here, no score. Ball Next three. offering is downstairs. The count is three and one. And a pitch. Out front, pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark. Now at the plate, Josh Lester. And a pitch. Ball and two. another ball. I got to count two and two. The pitch. Stays alive. The two two. Tapped softly on the ground. And quickly oh. one away in the second. Batting six. The third baseman. He's touched. Oh, Isaac Paredes now. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. And that one lifted in the air center field. Number 67 gets under it. Calls it in, two away. Batting seven, the designated hitter. Yeah. Two outs, base is empty. Next is the designated hitter, Daz Cameron. No score here in the second. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. That one missing inside. And here it comes. Pop up here, third base side. Freeman has a beat on it and puts the squeeze on that. And that is the third out of the inning. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. On to the third inning. Here's Luke Maley. And a 1-1. Swing and a miss. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man retired here in the third. And now the center fielder, number 67. Top of the third, no score. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. On the ground, out to short. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The batter, the right field, Trenton Brooks. 
Two outs, base is empty. And now, Trenton Brooks. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, number two. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. And now the lefty. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. Kicks and fires. Three and two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three balls, two strikes the count. Line drive, makes the grab, one away. Batting nut, the catcher, Justin. Garneau. Here's Dustin Garneau. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. pitch and fouled off and a pitch and that's downstairs and outside And that one missing low. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. The wide to kick the pitch. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. The punch out there, and two away now. Well, that'll make you smile out there on the mound, or maybe pump out your chest a little bit farther. That's about as good of a backdoor curveball as you'll ever see. Right on the black, and not surprisingly, just locked him up in the box. Zach Short getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Two outs. That one just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. 2-2 two -two now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. 3-2 now. Brooks racing over to make the catch. Onto the fourth, still scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Nolan Jones. Right-hander kicks, deals, swings, and misses. 
And now two and two. Righty delivers. And now it's filled up. Back to work. 3-2 now. It's a leadoff walk. And that's the go-ahead run. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here's Josh Naylor. Line and a base hit into right. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely, and that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Next to hit, Will Brennan. Got him. One gone here. Two on, one out. Now it's the DH, David Fry. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. So a foul ball makes it one and two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And the right hater deals. Grounded to third. Could be two. They get the tag on him, and that's two. To the bottom of inning number four now. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the fourth, leading off, Cody Clemens. In the air to left, down the line. Can't get there. Base hit into second easily with a leadoff double. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Digging in, Jacob Robson. The next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Clemens at second with nobody out. Ball Next three. offering misses, and now three and one. Ripped to third and caught. The back, the center field. Here's Riley Green. One out and a runner at second. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Now oh, just a now nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now it's going to be Josh Lester. Next pitch misses way outside. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a 3-2. Back to the mound. Toss to Naylor. And the first run of the game comes across.
down the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Payoff pitch. Line drive. And that's a base hit. Green around third. He will score. And they lead by two. Well done. Drives in the run. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it. But still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Daz Cameron at the plate. Popped out to left his first time. On the ground right side. Clement over to first. That's the inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Ernie Clement. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And that's the first out. Oh, that high four-seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. Now the batter down, Tyler Freeman. Next pitch downstairs. Now two balls and a strike. And he deals. Down the right field line and a base hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. At the play, Luke Maley going to count one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Tying run at the play. Stays alive. Freeman, the base runner at first with one out. Got him looking. Now two away. Here's the center fielder, number 67. The 1-1. One -one. Just missed. Turnbull throws to first. Freeman back on a dive. The 2 1. And that one clips the corner. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. and that's a base hit. Freeman headed home. The relay to the plate, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time, and they cut down the run to end the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the right fielder, number two. The next offering misses. Two and one. And a 
and a big swing and a miss. Action in the pen down there. Ben Kraut, the left-hander, up and throwing. Number 93 getting cranked up as well. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The batter, the catcher, Justin. Yeah, the batter now, Dustin Garneau, went down on strikes his first time through. Ball to strike. Out towards left center. And there's two down. Now it's Zach Short. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball popped up. And that is foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him. That's the third out, inning over. Welcome back. Now the number two hitter, Trenton Brooks. The 1-1. One -one. And that one... Wrapped foul. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a one two again. back up the middle and it gets through now that the first so digging in Nolan Jones at the belt and fires and it's filled up Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. Got him swinging. So he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Josh Naylor digs in now. To first, maybe a two ball. One at second. Back to first for two, and that'll do it. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Ben Kraut. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one drifts inside. Bullpen activity starting up now. Number 36 appears to be getting loose. Ripped on a line. And there's one down. Now that left fielder, Jacob. Jacob Robson now at the plate.
swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Oh, really expanded the zone right there with that fastball off the outside corner of the play. Got him to chase it. That's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Riley Green, the next to hit. Next offering is in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Out number three. And welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Will Brennan. And a pitch. The other way. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Here comes the throw. The tag, and they cut him down, going for two. So now the DH spot, David Fry. Turned on, but foul wide of third. One, two. Next offering misses down and away. Activity in the bullpen. Jacob Barnes preparing to come on if needed. Carlton getting loose as well. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two down. So two down now, and here is Ernie Clement. And a pitch. That one misses. Two and one. The pitch. And there's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And it's through for a hit. And that extends the inning. Now well, he's been working out of the stretch just about the entire game, Boog. A lot of base runners on against him, and he's just done a really nice job of scattering the hits, not giving up any runs. But at some point, your luck usually runs out. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Spencer Turnbull will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Jacob Barnes on to pitch here, and he'll work on holding this lead. Number 50, Jacob Barnes. And the batter will be the shortstop, Tyler Freeman. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Next offering is in for a strike. Clement off of first with two away. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, in the We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 36. of the inning and here's the first baseman Josh Lester two one now out 
outside corner. There's a strike. Brennan, he ranges to his right, makes the grab on the run. One up, one down. Now batting, third baseman, Keith Tucker. So up next, Isaac Paredes. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. I think he was sitting off speed there. Oh. Next offering is down low. Right-handed reliever. Hey. Got him looking. And there's two away. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside, and as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mitt, you think it's a ball off the plate away. Daz Cameron getting ready to hit. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Joey gets on base and keeps it going good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly and here is number two The 1-1. One, one. Good eye right there. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one for strike two. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and that ends the inning. Ready to begin the eighth, and now Luke Maley. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Righty delivers. That's hard hit on the line. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now a good bat in this game coming up. Next to hit, number 67. a one-two and he chases that one one out Miguel Del Pozo taking over on the mound your attention please number 71 Miguel Del Pozo Trenton Brooks will hit next. Maley at first, one gone. 
Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's okay. really important to getting back into this ballgame. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. Three, two. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Three, two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's out number two. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Here's the third baseman, Nolan Jones. Two outs and one in scoring position. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Green fires it to the plate. Slide save. And it's a one-run game. Big RBI for him right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Naylor. Next offering misses, and a count two and one. Well, with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. Two and one now. And a strike. The pitch. Stays alive. Now a rip into left center. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. Throw into third. Not in time. He's safe. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Drew Carl gets the ball now. Number 66. So two outs with runners on the corners. Now the left fielder, Will Brennan. One for three. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. Late swing, foul to the left. Big spot, two out, both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Got him! Down on strikes. And he knew it. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here at the ballpark. And now the catcher comes up to him. Dustin Garneau. And a count one and two. Now a high 
fly ball out to left center. Brennan sizes this one up, makes the grab one down. So digging in, Zach Short. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. That one felt good, and they boost their lead. It's 3-1. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off base is empty one away here's the second baseman Cody Clemens fouled off again and it remains three and two pitch stays alive righty to the plate and down on strikes two away and now here's a speed threat outfielder Jacob Robson Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now a 3-1 ball game. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Brian Garcia. Welcome back. And now the DH, David Fry. one lifted to left Robson settles under this one one away now batting the second base Ernie Ernie Clement digs in now and here it comes and now it's three and two. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Fires across the diamond, and they're down to their last out. Two outs, base is empty. Tyler Freeman now at the plate. And a 1-1. One -one. And that one hammered. That's back. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Man at second here with two away. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley. Comes a 2-2. And the slider just misses. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder.
runner leads away at second. On the ground, right side. That's the ball game. 3-1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Season. We remind you to please drive home safely.